So full transparency, I purchased this keyboard with my own money and a little few things before we get into the video. I have a massive migraine, so I do apologize if I do not seem 100%. If you've been here on the channel, you already know uh, that I suffer from mental illnesses and stuff, but I also suffer from migraines and I try not to do content creation when I have migraines or my PTSD is triggered, but there's sometimes I can't avoid it, so I do apologize. Another thing is, is that I am not a keyboard enthusiast or a snob or whatever you, term you want to use when it comes to keyboards. I don't care what my keyboard is made out of. I don't care if it's creamy, thocky, whatever. I want the keyboard to perform what a keyboard is supposed to do. And in this case, when we're talking about rapid triggers, I want to, I want the keyboard to perform how it's supposed to for gaming and stuff like that as well. And that's why I landed on this one. This one is the MU68. I'm not going to try to say the name of the company or whatever, but on Amazon, at least at the time of recording, it's coming in around 89 bucks with a $10 off coupon. You can find it linked in the description if you are interested in this keyboard at any point in time. That will be an Amazon affiliate link. But I do want to go ahead and stress that you should probably should watch other reviewers who are probably more, um, I would say, knowledgeable about keyboards. And I will try to leave some reviews down in the description so you can check it out or whatever about this keyboard and get a little bit more in depth as far as information on this keyboard but i do want to go ahead and say that i picked this up because i wanted to find a keyboard that i can not only recommend to a lot of my gaming streaming friends but a keyboard that had rapid triggers the one the ones that had arrow keys and it was actually at a good price point and for those who couldn't pay 200 for the wooting 60 he or the 80 he that just came out and i understand the wooting keyboards are made out of plastic they're 200 dollars. a lot of people don't want to pay that much for 200 dollars or whatever for a plastic keyboard look i i have the ruining 60 ag i did a overview review video over about it a long time ago i still have it it's my daily driver uh i do like the keyboard never had a problem or issue with it other than a i would say user error that i did admittedly for the shift key that i talked about in that video after rooting picked uh, pointed it out and the commenter pointed out in that video i rectified the problem never had an issue a problem with the keyboard the reason why i'm kind of on the hunt and i'm still going to pick up the rooting adhe is because i need dedicated arrow keys as well as some of the other keys that are on uh, a tkl like a delete key and a print screen key you know stuff like that and i know i can do that on the rooting 60 ag by hitting the function buttons all that stuff but i like a dedicated key i don't like hitting combos of keys and stuff like that because it slows up my workflow that's just me that's a personal thing or wherever that might not be a problem for you but overall like i said i would like the winning 60 ag i'm still going to keep it it's going to be sitting as on a mantle somewhere or something like that because i still am deeply in love with that keyboard even if it has a plastic housing and stuff like that i like the sound of it i like the feel of it the typing experience the using uh the actual software never had a problem and issues with it the new updates that they did or wherever for the rapid rappy tappy or whatever it's called or wherever it's been really good um the movement or wherever with the rapid triggers inside apex and stuff like that i've been able Able to successfully I would say 80 to 90 percent of the time hit like wall bounces and stuff like that with the keyboard and I never had a problem with it and I think that the rapid triggers and what it does in gaming or wherever on certain I would say games that allow movement like that um, it's definitely going to enhance the user experience so if you are already somewhat decent at movement in apex and stuff I can say that getting a keyboard with rapid triggers is going to enhance that just a little bit it's not going to make you a full-blown you know masters or pred player or wherever and ranked in apex legends and it's not going to help you hit your shots and stuff but it's going to help you a little bit noticeably i would say it's going to be a noticeable jump it's not going to be like a lateral movement or something that's not going to you're not going to really notice like it's going to be a hair of an improvement no it's going to be a noticeable improvement especially if you're not like i said the most goaded player out there and i'm not you know what i'm saying i have several 20 bombs but i'm only a diamond player or whatever because usually when i hit like diamond four or three i stop playing um because i nine times out of ten i solo queue and going any higher wherever you definitely need a coordinated team at least in my personal opinion and obviously i am like i said not a apex pro player so i'm not going to be able to sit there and tell you yeah you know what i'm saying get a, get a get a gaming rapid trigger keyboard and you're going to be flying all the way to masters number one you know what i'm saying or pred number one um but in, in my personal opinion like i said there is a place for rapid trigger keyboards out there i've seen some people argue that you know it doesn't help you game or wherever yes it does um take it from somebody who's a below average player like me who's really bad at a game 
playing with a regular keyboard and then jumping to a rapid trigger keyboard, there is a noticeable difference. And it's just like if you have a regular controller and then you switch to a controller with paddles, if you ever done that or wherever from a gaming console perspective, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, how the massive improvement it is or wherever as far as playing a video game, uh, taking advantage of the paddles. With all that aside, all that background information aside, does this keyboard, the one that we're talking about today, the MU68 from IYX, I'm just going to say that because it's printed on the actual keyboard itself, does it stack up with the Wooting 60HE? In my personal opinion, no. The reason why I say this is because it's not because of the actual software. The software is perfectly fine. I didn't have any issues or anything like that. I would agree with 90% of the people out there who talked proudly about this keyboard. There was no issues with that. It is missing that extra two little things that a, a lot of keyboard companies are doing firmware updates to add to their keyboards for rapid trigger uh, keyboards. And it does lack that functionality. I imagine the company can do the same thing as these other companies like Wooting, etc., that are going to you know do firmware updates to allow the keyboard to take advantage of those things. But as of right now, I do not know if the company is going to do something like that. So that is what it is. But like I said, software never gave me an issue, never gave me a problem. It's it's okay. With that being said, though, the build quality of the keyboard is way better than the Wooting 60HE and I imagine the 80HE because they're going to be obviously plastic and etc. Um, the typing experience is really good on the keyboard. The overall keyboard feels like it's metal. It weighs a lot. I'll try to put the pounds or wherever on screen or wherever, but it is pretty of a hefty keyboard. I can tell it's definitely at least the back plate is metal or whatever. Um, it does feel like a premium keyboard. It feels like you paid over $100 for it. I would say roughly just my estimate, I would say roughly around $100. $50 I would be expecting this keyboard to cost um, so that's a good thing The typing on the keyboard or wherever I think personally um, you probably can't tell from the typing test but I think that it sounds perfectly fine I do not have any complaints or wherever of that or wherever it feels like I said, like a premium keyboard experience. The problem comes down to when you're actually using the keyboard and it's supposed rapid triggers. Remember what I mentioned earlier as far as the Wooning 60HE being able to successfully wall balance about 80 to 90% of the time and coming from somebody who is a below average player who is not a movement tech person or wherever. If I'm able to pull that off with the Wooting 60HE and it has rapid triggers, you would think I would be able to pull off with this keyboard. I did some testing or wherever, live streaming in the range or wherever. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't feel as reliable as the rooting. So the astute of you might notice that I am not hitting the wall, I would say correctly in this clip, and it could be, you know, a skill issue. I could just get better at the game. I could learn to do it without a rapid trigger keyboard, etc. But in my personal opinion, if I have the Wooting 60HE and even with me not being as precise or skilled enough to constantly hit the wall correctly or do the movement correctly or the keybinds correctly, if I'm able to do it on the Wooting 60HE nine times out of 10, with barely any effort on my part and I'm hitting them more consistently than on this keyboard the MU68 and I'm having to be a little bit more precise and accurate with my keybind pressing or keystrokes or wherever with the MU68 to me I'm going to take the keyboard that's more forgiving like the Wooting 60HE over a keyboard like this where you again have to be a little bit more precise with your keystrokes or your inputs or whatever and both of them are rapid trigger keyboard it is a really good keyboard if you are you know going to hit those keystrokes a little bit more accurate and you're going to know how to do the movement and whatever else there is in a game or wherever if you are that type of person 
and you just need that a little bit more of an edge and it's only going to be a minute change or wherever then yes you can go with a cheaper option or wherever and still get the rapid triggers but again if you're just a below average player like me and you need that crutch or you need a keyboard that's going to be more forgiving and allow you to do something with minimal effort then I, again i would opt to get the more expensive keyboard like the Wooting 60HE or the 80HE because again it's going to allow you to uh, compensate for not being as of a good player as everybody else out there that's just my personal take on it or wherever take with that what you will I know there's going to be negative people in the comments or wherever every time you talk about rapid trigger keyboards or you just talk about these types of keyboards and personally on YouTube I've seen nothing but just toxicity so it is what it is you can hate me all you want i at this point don't really care different game modes or wherever and ranked and everything like that in apex legends and i noticed i was able to execute the wall bounces the same ones i would pull off with the wooting he uh, 60 he i would say with this keyboard i pulled it off about 30 to 40 percent of the time and obviously that's a big jump and like i said i am not a movement tech person so it might come down to user error but even with that being said how can i pull it off you know 80 to 90 percent of the time with the wooting 60 he and then i switch to this keyboard and it's the same rapid trigger supposedly thing and then it drops to 30 to 40 percent of the time i can pull off a wall bounce it doesn't make any sense to me so i think that is possibly might possibly be the switches inside the keyboard for some reason maybe if i replace all the switches in this keyboard with the ones in the wooting 60 he i am not trying to do all that or wherever i don't have any spare you know switches to you know do that because i'm not a keyboard guy so maybe somebody can let me know down in the comments down below if i switched out the switches for this keyboard or they have some recommendations or whatever for switches to possibly test and see if that's what's causing the issue i did use the recommended uh usb type c cable that came with the keyboard and stuff like that and the right usb port on my mo um, motherboard and stuff like that i had the rapid triggers enabled or wherever from the software and everything i just like I said for some reason couldn't pull it off I don't understand why like I said it just might be user error somehow I don't know with that being said uh, the only other thing that I didn't like about the keyboard was the fact of while typing or wherever I did notice that my end key on the keyboard for whatever reason when I had all the actuation points down to the lowest point for the meaning I had all rapid triggers enabled for the whole entire keyboard my end key when I would press it sometimes it wouldn't register and then sometimes it would register like I was holding down the key obviously that's a problem what I did to rectify this was actually factory reset the in key to its normal I would say actuation point and ever since then never had a problem the in key never did it and the reason why that's a potential issue for you is because the issue that I was having with the in key could potentially happen to another key that's crucial for you to be able to use rapid triggers on for your gaming maybe you have have a certain key that you want the rapid triggers to be on for movement or uh, using a tactical interaction whatever it may be and if it's not registering your key press or your stroke or wherever that's obviously going to be a problem that's not what you want you want the rapid triggers to you know work correctly and um again that's something i just want to make you guys aware of but other than that issue alone as far as the typing experience really really good the switches feel good the keycaps i potentially would switch out the keycaps just because this is definitely personal taste but i like keycaps that are going to conform to my fingertips a little bit more these ones kind of feel a little bit just too flat if that makes sense as far as not having that much of a dip in the center of the keys again that's going to be personal preference obviously the sound of it and everything but honestly like i said for 89 dollars having a 10 dollar off coupon for 79 the build quality as far as how heavy this thing is how the the sounding of the typing quality or wherever I, I can see why people are touting this as one of the big contenders against the wooting 60 he it's just i think a lot of those people have never experienced the wooting 60 or the wooting 80 or the keychron version or the asus version or wherever so they don't know the disparity between the rapid triggers on another more expensive keyboard that's more reliable and tried and true and tested versus a budget one because like I said the one thing that holds it back for me giving a full seal approval is the simple fact that the rapid triggers being able to do like I said just a simple thing as a wall bounce 
and I'm pulling off more successfully for with another more expensive board than this one leads me to believe that either the rapid triggers on this keyboard or wherever is not really as rapid as it's alluding to, or it might be because of the actual switches itself. That's why I said, if somebody could let me know in the comments down below, another switch to try out that would potentially rectify this problem because then that means this keyboard would be really good because of the build quality the sound of it the typing experience having the arrow keys as well as being only around 89 bucks then obviously i would recommend this over you know some other keyboards but right now like i said the discrepancy being able to pull off movement versus this keyboard not being able to pull it off as successfully and on top of that like i said i am not somebody who's a movement god or wherever i'm not doing insane stuff but if i'm able like i said to pull it off at my level of being the below average player and i'm able to pull it off with a more expensive keyboard like you you can you can see like if you were more of a capable person i would still this is one of those things where how much money you're spending on the item actually makes sense because it's price to performance and this is also making sense because price to performance but the performance of it is getting outperformed by the more expensive item so i would suggest getting the more expensive item in this case and like i said i can see why people are suggesting this because of everything else but like i said when it comes to practice when it comes to being practical and actually using the keyboard i can tell you it's not up to snuff with the more expensive keyboards out there it's, it's just not um and that's why like i said it's holding it back unless like i said removing the switches and putting your own in is actually going to improve the responsiveness of the rapid triggers other than that if you don't really care about it and you're just looking for a really good you know keyboard or wherever and you like this form factor and stuff and the rapid triggers is not too much of a thing for you this is probably one of the best keyboards out there for the price point being under a hundred dollars and especially having that you know ten dollar off coupon the form factor as far as being that small still having arrow keys and stuff i mean like i said i could see it being 150 dollars just just even if it wasn't rapid triggers just the build quality alone and like i said the software it's kind of lacking like i said those extra two little firmware updates to get access to the other modes for rapid trigger uh i would say style keyboards uh, that other companies have done but the software wasn't that bad either i never had a problem with it crashing or anything or not you know saving an input or anything like that um so yeah i see why a lot of people are recommending it it's just when it comes to rapid triggers they just haven't experienced better you know what i'm saying so that's why they're just saying that they would pay this much money for this thing versus paying 200 and something dollars for the other companies you know uh, keyboards so again you get what you pay for i think in this instance um but yeah i would like even though the build quality all that stuff whoever is good on this keyboard and everything i still would pay for the wooting one several times over this one even though this one, like I said, it's more premium feeling and it's better than I would say build quality than a $200, you know, wooden keyboard. But the wooden keyboard, like I said, in practice, the performance and what you get, it's miles and miles leagues ahead of this keyboard. So you can, again, have all your expensiveness with this keyboard and, you know, get all the great feeling of a premium keyboard. But if it can't outperform, one that's apparently worse because of the build quality then what's the point of it you know what i'm saying you can have the most lavish keyboard out there but if it can't outperform a more or less lavish keyboard and it's in the same category as far as rapid trigger then what's the point of having the more lavish keyboard I, I just don't understand it. So with that being said, hopefully you guys found this video informative or helpful in any way, shape or form. If you did, then leaving a like or a comment on the video definitely helps out. If you're new to the channel, then you already know what you can do. You can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.